Hello, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. I want to do a quick preview here of uh, VMware Workstation 8 and go over a couple features that I think are uh, pretty nice uh, with the new version here. Um, this is the, I guess, the new UI user interface that uh, that looks a little, I guess, Windows 7-ish in my opinion here. And from here, we can do a few different things. Uh, to make life easier than going into the toolbar like creating a new VM to uh, connect it to a remote server. Um, so a couple of the new features that I guess benefit me uh, a lot with the new version is the fact that now if you virtualize vSphere in Workstation, uh, Workstation 8 now supports 64-bit VM guests uh, when you virtualize vSphere 4 or 5 in the uh, in VMware Workstation 8. That's one big thing and also you're able to now to connect remotely to a vCenter server or multiple vCenter servers that's out in your environment and you can do simple functionality like uh, powering on your VM or most of the basic functions that you can do to an actual VM guest that's local in workstation, you'll be able to to actually do uh, to a remote virtual machine when you connect your uh, vCenter uh, into VMware Workstation. Um, just to go through a couple of the features, I mentioned uh, VT is is now supported for being virtualized uh, and RVI as well, AMD or Intel's uh, virtual technology that they have. As long as the you have a processor that's supported and the VM guest actually supports it as well. So in this case here, if I un uncheck this here, you may be familiar that when you power it on a machine, like you get this this message here at the bottom that only 32-bit nested VMs will actually work in this environment. So if we go back in and I power this off. Kind of a no no to do it that way, but this is a lab. And I go and enable it, hit OK, and when I power it on this time, we'll notice that we will not get the error message about um, only being able to run 32 bit nested VMs, as you can see here. Go ahead and power that off again. Um, there is a new um, virtual hardware version as well. Click to change this uh, to version 8 now. So it just gives you some extra um, capabilities that you didn't have in version 7. You check that out. And also, the other feature that, you know, for me, I think is a big one is that we can connect to. A remote um, virtual center server. If I type in a remote vCenter server in here, a login password, um, it complains about the security certificate. I've seen that before. Uh, connect anyway, and as you can see here, I'm connected to. Uh, a vCenter server here and I have a couple of VMs running well a couple of VMs in the environment one running and if I want to actually do anything with it I can double click on it it will add a little tab here for it or I can right click and I can do some of the same functions that, that I'd be able to do uh, if this was uh, running locally uh, in VMware Workstation itself. So that's a pretty neat feature. You don't get the, the full benefits of the vSphere client per se, but uh, it gives you some limited functionality, which you know is is pretty typical of what you would would need off the bat with uh, working in VMware Workstation. So not too many complaints or additions I would ask for here. Um, and 
basically that's it. No, for me there there are some other features in there. Uh, you can go over to VMware's uh, website to check out some more of the new functionality and capabilities within VMware Workstation 8. But overall, I think it's a, a pretty good upgrade. Um, and for some, if depending on when you actually bought your version of VMware Workstation uh, 7, uh, you may actually get a, a free upgrade to version 8. So check on the website uh, just to see if you are eligible to get that that free upgrade. If not, like I said, it's you know it's pretty worth it to be able to run the 64-bit uh, VMs now in here, which can take advantage of the, the virtual technology features of the processor. Um, ESX is not the only one uh, hypervisor that takes advantage of that. I've run KVM, uh, Zen, and I'm pretty sure Hyper-V will work. I have not tested that hypervisor yet um, within VMware Workstation 8 but it's another one on my list so check it out if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my YouTube tube page so if you like the video make sure you subscribe to the page um, hit me up on Twitter and also look me up on the uh, thehyperadvisor.com and go to the blog. That's it. Peace. Have a good one.